Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we finished up the preparation in the previous lesson. So what we want to do now is we want to actually work on our live wire component right here. Right, so there's a couple of things that we need to do. So let's just get started and not waste anyone's time. Right, I'm just going to bring in a use uh, authorization request because I want to validate if the user can mark the notification as read. You remember we created a notification policy and this is kind of useful for that. Right, so the next thing is we want to use with pagination. So if there's a lot of notifications, we want to actually paginate it as well. Right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to return a view. The LifeWire notification view, you guys remember from the previous one, we set that up. All right, and I want to pass in notifications, all the notifications, notifications, and we want to get the auth user, the person that's authenticated right now. Okay, we want to get that user, we want to get all the unread notifications. Okay, so unread notifications, and we want to paginate that. Paginate. I hope I spelled it correctly. Otherwise, no, I think they, the LiveWire will let me know if I misspelled it when I actually get to the view. All right. So we're passing, getting all the notifications right there. The next thing that I want to do is I want to be able to get a notification ID to know which one we want to mark as red. Okay. So we're just going to create a public variable called noti id all right this one right here we will use to determine which notification we want to mark as red okay so the next one is we're going to create that mark as red property the method so public function all right this one is going to be mark as red like this all right and we're going to pass in a string and we're going to get that notification id right there Okay, so inside this mark is red, we're going to set this notification, notification ID, we're going to equal that to the notification ID, like this. All right, now we obviously, if you guys remember when we created the jobs in the previous one, we obviously have to authorize, we use that this, use authorize because we bring in an authorized request right there, and we're going to bring in that notification policy. All right, and you guys remember the mark is red that we created in it. For anyone that's new, we created a notification policy to for the mark is red, and we just return if this user can be able to mark it as red. Okay, and then we obviously have to pass in this notification ID. I like that. Okay, so we pass that parameter right there. The next thing that we want to do is we want to mark this notification All right so we need to get yeah, yeah, spelling notification and we're going to do that mark as red All right so obviously the method okay, like this now the thing is we this notification we haven't gotten it yet so we need to get it remember in php you get get and set methods so we're gonna get my create a public function function to get that notification so get notification property Hopefully my spelling is not wrong there. Notifications is making sure. All right, and then we want to bring in that database notification property right there. Just make sure you import it at the top. As you can see, it's already imported. Okay. Anyway, all right, let's move on, let's move on. All right, so get the notification ID. Right, we obviously haven't finished that yet. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to return the database notification. Okay, then we want to find all fail 
that notification notification ID all right so that's what we want to do so we want to pass in that notification ID and we call, then we get that notification then we mark it as red now the next part we want to do is we want to as soon as we mark it as red we want to emit an event to let the count and the indicator basically know listen this one is marked as red otherwise we will still keep on showing this four this three all right the whole time instead of being updated until there's no notifications okay so the th what we're going to do is we're going to emit okay so we're going to emit an event and we're going to call this marked just marked as red notification okay so this is the event that we're going to mark up okay and we're going to pass in the authenticated user obviously let's do this unread notification and then we just pass in the count like this right so we're going to pass an event we're going to submit the event mark is marked with the ed to say that an action has been completed to that authenticated user unread notification and the count Okay, so now while we actually yeah, let's do this. Let's deal with this event as well while we in our uh, live wire components right here. So basically, what we want to do is we want to go to create an active listener right in our notification count. Okay, so let's go there. So we're going to create a protected listener. Protected listen. I'm just going to equal that to an array. Okay. And the listen, the event that must happen. Okay. We're going to listen for that marked as red. Okay. We're going to listen for that event. And what are we going to do when we receive that marked as red event? Okay. So when that event is fired off, what we're going to do is we're going to update the count. Okay, we're going to fire off a method inside our count method right here just to update the count. Okay, so we can just do that. All right, so obviously we haven't created this method yet, so let's quickly create that so public function and update count. Okay, an integer and count and we just want to say make sure that it returns an integer and then what we want to do is return the count okay because what will happen now is the marker thread will just update that right there and it will pass the event right there with the count and it will just update the count right this might all feel like magic all right basically we get the notification property okay this mark is red, okay, this, this one that we call on the notification when we get the notification, okay. What now will happen is this mark is red property is basically inside your database notification. If you go down a little bit, I think it's supposed to be here somewhere. All right, yeah, you will have that mark is red property. Basically what it will do, it will just set the red ed to that current date, all right, the timestamp, and then just save it and mark it as red okay so then, then the notification will be red now all right so that's all that is okay so it might feel like a little bit of magic but it's basically normal stuff that comes with our database uh, property in our notification we can just go on that method right there all right and then we just send how many unread notifications there are to the listener and the listener will just update the count right there so that's it. All right. So obviously the next thing that we need to do as well, we need to go to our indicator class right here. And we need to update it as well because it needs to listen for that same event, all right, to be able to set. You remember the set has no notification. It needs to also know how many notifications are left as well. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy that listener. I don't have to type everything again. 
So I can just paste it in here, but instead of the update the count, I'm just going to set as notification. Okay, so as soon as that event is fired off, this in this indicator will actually update the account there as well okay. to check the account and things. So that's it. So if it, there's still one, the indicator will still be there. If there's no unread notifications, because if the authenticated user, we will check if there's no unread notification. If it's zero, then obviously the amount that will be sent through, let me just go back there, to a LiveWire component right here, it will be zero. And if it's less than zero, basically, it will not indicate anything. All right. So that's it. Right, so the next part, let's go to our LifeWire index component right here. Okay, now the next part is to actually go to our view and actually work on this right here. All right, now there's a couple of ways that we want to do this. Okay, now we want to know if there is notifications. Okay, we can do it like this. If, let's just create an end if statement as well. Let's just copy this. And just where did I put it above the table? So underneath the table right here. Okay. Now the condition is like as follows. If we could have done it in a couple of ways. If the notifications, remember the notifications that we're passing through right here. Right. So if that notifications, notifications, let's say is empty. Okay. If it's not empty, actually, if it's em not empty, then please do this. Else, we let the user know. Else, you have no unread facts. All right. So that's the one way we can do it. Okay, there's another way we can actually see if there's a notification count. I just want to show you guys, just for learning purposes. Okay, right. So if the notification, we can bring on the count. If the count is zero, all right, then if it is uh, zero, okay, that's the one. And the other one is we can actually do this. The count can pass in the notifications like this. Okay. It does the same thing. In PHP, empty is the value of zero, null, false, and all that kind of stuff to check against it. But for me, I'm just going to use it. If it's not empty, do this. If it's empty, do this. Okay. Right. So let's go to the browser and see if we can actually display this. Right now, as you can see, we're showing that form, so it means this guy has notifications. Let me just log out and just log in as another user that doesn't have notifications. Right, I'm logging as another user. As you can see, you have no unread notifications. All right, so everything works correctly. All right, so I'm back as John. All right, now the next thing that we want to do is we want to update these fields to accordingly. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so what are the fields that we're going to do? We want to bring in a message, obviously about the notification. Then we want to have an action button right here. And then we want to have the date. So the message, date, and the action button. So the action button will obviously be the markers red button. All right, and the date and the message. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so we're going to change the field. So the first one will be a message, then the date. All right, so we can remove the birthday. And the role as well. So there's only going to be three tables. And this one is going to be the action. Not right, just action. Right. So let me just return. And then we, now we need to create the loop for all the notifications as well, obviously. But we just want to do that. And then we're going to loop over the table rows is here, right here. All right. But for now, um, let me just above the header right here. Just do this. Notifications. Just to display all the notifications. It obviously will not look pretty, but we just to display to see what data we get there. You know what? Not to waste time. Let's just 
quickly do this because the video is going to get a bit too long. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a for each loop. Okay, so for each notifications as let's do this no right now what we want to do is we want to bring in the table row right here right obviously the first table data that will be basically the message all right that we're going to get from the notification itself okay so what we want to do is let's just do it like this pass in a notification data remember the data let me just show you where that comes from Right. If this video is a bit too long, I apologize, but I want to explain things as we go. ACP um, event notifications, near reply notifications. Right. The data that I'm talking about is this data right here that we pass in the database. Okay. When we save it in the database. Because if we go to the database, migrations, our notifications, because it's a learning channel, you see this data right here. This is the table that I'm referencing. When I'm calling on it. Okay. So this data right here is the data that we save when we create a new reply right here. Okay. So if the videos get a little bit too long, you I just want you to know where this is coming from. Okay. So that we learn. Okay. So the first one we're gonna obviously it's gonna come in an array because when we save it, we save it as an array. Right? And this one is going to be the replyable subject. Reply this one right here okay, let me just copy it from here so you guys can see we get it from there let me just do it like this and let me go to the browser and let's refresh right there as you can see we got our repliable subject right there okay so that's there okay so we got a message from so i'm just going to type in something in front of it to say we got a new reply from this okay All right so what i want to do now is i want to add a new let me just let's give it some room some room here so you guys can easily see it All right now there's our diff right there so in this div okay i want to create a new new reply was added like this right and i want this button to be clickable so if if the person actually wants to click on this right here they can actually go to that notification itself right instead of marking as red they can actually go to that notification right so we're going to create an anchor tag let's pass in that right there so if the person clicks this they will go to that right and you guys remember the route was uh, threats.show threats.show we need to pass in two parameters the repliable subject and the repliable id okay but for now you know let me just leave this out for now let's just put a hash in there but we're going to get to that in a second let's just finish this up all right the next part is we need to get the date in there as well okay so when was this created Right, let me just delete the bio. Now, this one is the date. Okay. And we just want to pass in the notification. Created add date. And this must be diff for units. Okay. So now we got our notification right there. We got our for humans when it was created and now the next part is we want to actually add that button right there okay to for the pe person to be able to mark it as red so we're just going to create a button all right and this button will be a wire button wire click uh, wire button and it will be a click and what what is this button going to click it's going to click the marker's red property right in our index we got this marker's red right here so that will fire off when we click that button right and the next part that we want to do is we want to pass in it in this notification id as well so let's just do that pass in 
the node T. Node T application and it's gonna pass in the ID. Right, so that when this mark is read, it will get the right notification ID and set it accordingly and do all the lucky stuff right there. All right, so the next part that we want to do is we got that button right there. And what we can do, just just gonna put in some text. Mark yes. We obviously haven't styled it yet. Um, let's give it a couple. You can style this however you guys want. Okay. And um, all right. So what I've done is I just added the JSON button, right click, Marcus Renter notification, and just added the class of text center, just to kind of make it everything looks a little bit better. So if I refresh, you can see now we've got a Nero plow was added too. I can obviously make the text a little bit darker right there all right and then if we obviously going to click this button we need to update really just make sure that i've mistyped here this needs to be a method different humans and it must be created it right there the one click markers read and we've got the whole markers read right there all right so let me just quickly go back all right so we got our notifications and now if i click markers red i'm supposed to get the Right, this action is unauthorized. What is the problem now? Right, now it works. Uh, let me just show you what I've done. Right, so I uncommented the authorize and it works. But now the thing is, I don't understand why it's not working. Because in our notification policy right here, we're taking the notifiable, the user right there. So let me just get it is notifiable right here and just show you what it returns die and dump and we're just going to die and dump this let's copy this quickly note d y like that right because this is supposed to be returned john doe so let's see if it returns that. Now, as you can see, the update count works. Everything works. So as you can see, here's three. It updates to three there as well. So everything is working except that for now. So if I click that, as you can see, it returns John Doe right here. So the user is authorized. So that's the right user because that's the user that we pass through the moment we send the policy. So when the notifiable gets here, it will check if that user is that same user but i don't know why it's giving me that error so for now i'm just going to leave it out and actually we'll try and fix it on my own if i do find the solution for it i'll update you as well all right so let me just quickly go back otherwise we will spend too much time and all okay so let me just mark all this as red so as you can see it updates the two as this well mark it as red it must be one so if a market is red it's supposed to be zero and they disappear there as well. So you have no, uh, no unread notifications. All right. So the video is a bit too long and a bit long actually. So if you like the video guys, please give it a like. I will see if I can fix that authorization and I will keep you updated on that. All right. Thank you guys for watching. So that's it. So the user can get their notifications and update them and mark them as read and actually everything works quite nicely all right so i will quickly yeah no that's it for this one all right thank you guys for watching if you like the video please give it a like if you don't please give it a dislike and yes see you in the next one adios